Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you are going to learn about the all method in Ruby. The all method in Ruby. What is it? How to use it? And why is it useful for you? So the all question mark method. Let's see an example. Let's say that I have, have an array of numbers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and then the all method looks like this. It's all question mark. And like most methods that end with a question mark, if we return true or false, okay? It's just a convention in Ruby that methods that end in a question mark return true or false. And what is this method useful for? Well, this method takes a block, right? And we need a parameter. So this is going to be the number, right? Just like each, this n is going to be every one of these numbers. And then inside the block, we can give some kind of condition, some comparison. So for example, we might want to know if all of the numbers are, so if n is greater than some other number. So we can say, is n greater than one? So what this we do is if we check every number, every one of these numbers against this condition, right? So in other words, if we check if three is greater than one, four is greater than one, five is greater than one, if and if all of them, this where the all comes in, and if all of them match this condition, they are true. If this condition is true for all of these numbers. Then the result, the final result will be the value true. As we can see here, right? So all of them have to match this condition. Now if I do n even, I want to check if all of the numbers are even numbers, we get false because three is not an even number, five is not an even number, right? So that's what you can do with all. And like all of these kind of methods, like select, um, inject, map, this is also an enumerable method, and you can use anything else. It doesn't have to be numbers. So you can use strings, or you can use your own objects. You can use anything that you want. So you can use this for things like checking if an array of user objects, if all of the users, for example, have a name longer than a specific um, amount of characters, or if all of the users have an email address, or things like that. Another example that we can do right here with strings we can do an array of strings with percent %w, right? And then I can say aapbcc, for example. And I can say, is the size of all of these strings equal to three? Well, it isn't, but if I try equal to two, then I get true, right? Why? Because 
we're taking n, which is every of the every one of these strings against this value of size two. This is true, is true for all, yes, therefore the final result is true. So a very helpful method to know. And there are also other methods that are similar to all. And that's for example the non method. Non question mark this is the reverse of any. So non just like the name says, it checks that none of these objects match this condition, right? And there is also one, so this ma checks that exactly one match the condition. And there is also any. So with any, you can check that any of this match a condition. So we could say, for example, do any of these strings have a size of two, right? When we use any, only one of these have to match the condition for any to be able to return true. So that's all, none, one, and any. And you can also combine this. So like in all Ruby methods, you can filter the list before the any, you can do select, and then do something here to filter the list, right? And whatever it is. And then do the any after that. They can be combined together. In fact, that's a very powerful thing that you can do in Ruby is to combine methods together. And yes, this has to be some actual code, not three dots. So you can do an say so it's greater than one. And then of the remaining, you want to make sure that at least one has size two. So that's it for this video. Click the like button for me so I know that you like it. And if you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And visit my website, rubyguides.com. Rubyguides.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.